ISTQB Foundation Level Question 104, which general testing principles are characterized by the descriptions below? A. Early testing saves time and money. B. Defects cluster together. C. Tests wear out. D. Absence of defects fallacy. 1. Testing should start at the beginning of the project. 2. Conformance to requirements and fitness for use. 3. Small number of models contain the most defects. 4. Test cases must be regularly renewed and revised. Answers. A. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, D is 4. B. A is 1, B is 3, C is 4, D is 2. C. A is 2, B is 3, C is 1, D is 4. D. A is 1, B is 4, C is 2, D is 3. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed enhancing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do, and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. Let's look at all the statements from 1 to 4 according to ISTQB syllabus. Statement 1. Testing should starts at the beginning of the project corresponds to the testing principle 3. Early testing saves time and money. This principle emphasizes that starting testing early in the project helps identify and address defects sooner, reducing the cost of fixing issues later in the software development life cycle. Statement 2. Conformance to requirements and fitness for use corresponds to the testing principle 7, absence of defects fallacy. This principle warns against the misconception that eliminating defects alone ensures the success of a system. It emphasizes the importance of not only verifying conformance to requirements, but also ensuring the software is fit for its intended use. Statement 3. Small number of models contain the most defects corresponds to the testing principle 4. Defects cluster together. This principle highlights the observation that defects are not uniformly distributed. Rather, a small number of models typically contain the majority of defects, according to the Pareto principle. Statement 4. Test cases must be regularly renewed and revised correspond to the testing principle 5. Tests were out. This principle acknowledges that repeating the same tests may lead to diminishing returns, and therefore test cases should be regularly updated and revised to remain effective. In summary, all of the above leads us to the correct answer B. Explanation. At last, let's look at the section 1.3, Testing Principles in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see all the testing principles with explanations. I suggest you figure out all seven principles on your own. I think. This question is easy for you, if you remember all testing principles by heart. And I would like you to get questions like this 
in the ICQB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam and pass it successfully. Never give up.